Now that you're going to apply to the Tunic Email Entrepreneurship Training Program, the website is tefconnectiveconnect.net. So you log in and there yeah, you click apply to qualify you for the $5,000 grant and the mentorship and training program that go with it. So when you click apply, it will urge you to create an account. Yeah, as you don't have an account with them to ask you, do you want to come in as an entrepreneur or as a mentor? Of course, in your own case, if you are looking for the business uh, money, is to come in as an entrepreneur. And when you click on it, they'll send you an email to verify your email before you progress further. You can see that I've already gotten that email confirmation and uh, I've confirmed my email by clicking then I cannot progress for that. Now I want to create an account as an entrepreneur, as an illustration to help guide you. You create an account as an entrepreneur, you'll be taken to the next stage. I've served as a mentor in this program, so I have a little idea of what is going on. So you'll be taken to this stage where you will complete your profile and you'll be asked to impute a few details, your name, your gender, your phone number, date of birth, and the industry your business is going to be in, and of course your country. Remember this program run in 54 countries uh, on the Afri African continent, yeah? So you'll be asked to select your country. Of course, I'm in Nigeria, so I've selected Nigeria. you also be asked to select your language. In Africa, we have some countries speak English, some French, some Portuguese, and some Arabic. You need to select language where you are comfortable with and then select the industry. They have some target industries here, so you can see the breakdown and the list. So you select the one that caters to your business idea or your ongoing concern. Now this program can be for someone that just has a fresh idea, you've not started, or that you're looking for how to grow the business. And usually, I always encourage you that if you have an idea, it's always good to find a way to get some basic things up and running. It shows that you're serious, it shows you know what you're doing, it shows you are ready for business. So when you have selected all of that and have been printed your phone number, in fact, if you don't complete all the details, here it will not um, allow you to move to the next stage so, like I have done it will ask me to come and put in my date of birth so basically so you need to give them all the details yeah I just selected um, a date there not my real date of birth because this is for an illustration purpose that we are doing here when you are signing up for this make sure that the email you want to use is the one that you have um, regular access to so that you will not miss um, important mail when they come and for this year 2023 i usually encourage people to i mean use them um, a very dedicated email for all their business endeavors so when you click next it will bring you to this um, interface and here they are letting you know that this portal has opened since January 1st and it will end on 31st of March. So this application process will run till the 31st of March. Now that you have been brought here, you are going to click on applications there. You can see I have click applications. Then it will bring me to this interface. It will now ask me to choose from the ones I want to apply. Of course, I want to apply for the 2023 program. And so I've clicked on that. You can see they will bring guidelines that you need to be aware of. I suggest you take time to read through this. Then basically, some of these information are quite important for you. And here you can see that completion of the training program is a strict condition to moving forward. So if you apply and you don't follow every process and complete the training program, they may not allow you to progress further. So when you have filled the application, you need to supply personal information, commercial information, cognitive assessment test, and then a declarative section. So the important thing that you also need to take note of is that you'll be required to supply a government-issued ID card as part of this application process. So you also be required to supply um, your passport photo. That is a, a photo headshot showing clearly your face and your head. That is quite important important for them yeah so some of these um, documentations they will expect you to upload it as you complete 
all mandatory fields in this application process. When you have done all of that, it's only through your single email account that um, they will contact you and they discourage you from trying to use multiple emails to apply, probably to boost your chances. It's not necessary. So I will strictly suggest that you stay to the rules, follow and all the guidelines as is being listed because uh, the program is gradually becoming more and more competitive as the years go by. You need to follow all the guidelines. When you're done with the application phase, the next thing will be the training and mentorship phase and then after that the business plan submission phase, the pitching phase, the seed capital phase. So that these are the phases. At this point in time, we are in the application phase. As we progress in these phases, if you um, are interested for guidance in the remaining stages, of course, this guidance is free. I'm just sharing my knowledge with you to help you succeed. You can always drop a comment in the comment section to say yes. I am interested in all the other phases. Now that we are guiding you through the application phase, the next thing will be the training phase. So in order for this video not to be too long, I'm going to be breaking the information in stages. So for this particular stage, we are focusing on how you can be able to create an account. And but once the application um, phase is closed, they will now focus on the those who are eligible among all those who have applied and they will now give them what access to the world class business training program so if you are not eligible you'll be placed in a preparatory category this means that you can still be able to utilize the skill set in other areas but it means that you don't have the skill set that they are looking for to be able to start a business because uh, this program is targeted program and they want to be able to accomplish their own objectives which is to help a specific number of entrepreneurs. It's also important for you to note that as you scale through each of the phases, you'll be taken through the business management training program. Then the training um, phase and the mentorship phase will follow. So once you are selected and you are shortlisted, you'll be placed in the appropriate training path so that you'll be eligible to take part in the rigorous business training program and mentoring sessions that follow. To be able to qualify for that 5,000 dollar grant follows a process and if you go through the process successfully you are then able to develop your business plan which will be the next phase after the training and mentorship phase it will be the phase to develop your business plan so if you're able to develop your business plan successfully and you submit it with the financials and all of that then you're actually on your way to getting selected that five thousand dollar is a grant and it's tax free so you're not going to pay back the money it's not a loan of course this um training program also go with the pitching phase and the seed capital phase which is the last phase which is where you get the money when you're done with the business uh, management phase with the training and mentorship phase then there'll be a pitching phase where you pitch your business idea and usually you will be required to make a short video but like i said i'm going to take these um, guidelines step by step so that the, this particular video will not be long to make it easy so when you have read through you click continue and then you choose your language it will bring you to the terms and conditions that guide the program and i also suggest that you read through because they're going to define a couple of terms here what a lot of things mean a lot of times mean and it will help you to be able to follow all the nitty-gritty so that when you are reading through their communication you'll be able to understand what all of the terms mean now let's look at the eligibility of course this program is open to all africans yep and your business must be for profit they are not uh, interested in funding businesses that are not for profit yeah, ngos no you, know, you must have a business business that is for profit or an idea for a business that is for profit and the business idea must not be for an illegal or unethical purpose this is very important to them if you are also connected with the foundation then you're not eligible to progress in this application or if you are connected with anyone that works there as a family member or you know all of that so you're not uh, eligible or any of the associated companies that the Tony Elimelo Foundation are connected to because that will be conflict of interest. So they are also avoiding that. Or if you're among the consultants that are also working with them on this program and you are connected with any of them and you are agents to them or whatever, you're eligible to apply. 
So all of these things are the things you need to take note of. Once the application process has started and ended, that will be it, it will be over and out. So as we go through this, you need to basically focus on getting your application ready. If there are areas that you're not clear, you can always drop a comment in the comment section and we can discuss it before you finalize your application. We are here for you. We want to we want you to succeed in new case and multi concepts. This is our job, business consultants and their guidance. We are here for you. And uh, myself as a business coach, Charles Mahiwe, I'm also here for you. Now, the guidelines for the assessment, you need to read through. You must be over 18. And you must also not have received this grant or seed capital from them in previous years because some people have gone through this program previously. So if you have got done that, then you're not qualified to apply again. All of these things, you need to take note of them. And like I said before, you must have a government ID card. It's very important. So you click next and then it brings you to this interface where you need to now impute your personal details. So you're building your bio. Basically, um, some of the information they are asking for here is to enable them to understand who you are. For example, they want to know, are you based in the rural area or in the urban area? They also want to have an idea of your um, business. So these are some of the things that are involved. I really wish you the best. In the next video, we'll continue to take, talk about more of what you need to succeed in this training. So till then, drop any comments that you have and then we'll be able to take it up from there. If you have any questions, drop your um, question. My name is Charles Mwahiwe and on this channel, we help you succeed in your business, whether it is offline or online. So I'd like you to join us in the next video. Remember to subscribe so that you'll be sure the notifications are on so that you will know when new videos drop. We're going to take the next batch of the training program information and stages that are connected with it in the next videos ahead. Thank you. Bye for now.